and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines. We are gathered aboard Naval Special Operations Command, the home of your elite forces in the Philippine Navy. The Naval Special Operations Command is tasked to organize, train, equip, maintain, and deploy sea, air, land, special boat, explosive ordnance disposal, a naval diving team for special operations in support to naval maritime and joint operations. For you, our dear audiences, the Naval Special Operations Command will showcase its capabilities. The basic underwater demolition seal. The journey of becoming a frogman starts with basic underwater demolition seal training. There are certain standards that each trainee must pass. First and foremost, he needs to be a volunteer. As the old saying goes, there is nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. The Naval Diving Group conducts underwater search and rescue, limited salvage and recovery, ship husbandry, hydrographic reconnaissance, and recompression chamber operation. The transportable hyperbaric recompression chamber is one of the unique assets of the Naval Diving Group which is used to perform treatment at any location. Explosive Ordnance Disposal Group. Its capability includes locating, identifying, evaluating, rendering safe recovery, transport, and disposal of unexploded ordinances, explosive remnants of war, unserviceable ordinances, LEDs, seaburn, and missile. Military free fall. This is a developing capability of the Naval Special Operations Command designed for the SEAL team to conduct clandestine vertical insertion from aircraft platform jump using military free fall advanced ram air parachute. SEAL sniper. The role of a Navy SEAL sniper is to provide long range precision fire support to the SEAL team. They are trained to operate in a variety of environments, including urban, rural, and maritime. Seal attack dogs. This developing capability can be deployed in various scenarios such as detecting hidden enemies, conducting building searches, or apprehending individuals who pose a threat to the SEAL team. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the sea area. A squad of SEALs is sent by its Naval Task Force Commander to a remote island stronghold in the southern Philippines. Its mission is to conduct a direct action in order to cripple the capabilities of a notorious terrorist group. Specifically, the SEALs are tasked to conduct another of NAVSOCOM's core competencies, an inland demolition raid. Imagine that it is now pre-dawn and the weather is foul that the enemy would least expect an attack. Ladies and gentlemen, the SEALs are now about to emerge out of the cold and dark waters. They have just been inserted by rubber boat. On your right, an eight-man SEAL team has just hit the beach. We are now seeing a basic eight-man SEAL team led by a patrol leader, 
or platoon leader. The team members are appointment, radio telephone operator, two automatic weapons men, a core man, an assistant patrol leader, and rear security. Each and every one of them has warfare skills in combat, swimming, air operations, diving, demolitions, communications, and small boat handling. As soon as the team gets an eye on the target, the platoon leader speeds his team into a base of fire element and a maneuver element. For this capability demonstration, prior to the infiltration of the SEAL team, the sniper team was initially deployed in position at the high ground. Sniper 1 over. Sniper 1, this is LT. Go ahead. LT, three enemies sighted. Request permission to engage. Sniper 1, you have the green light to engage. The base of fire element engages the enemy. <laughs> Upon reaching the leading of the man, the new leader orders his men to set security. The search team clears the hooch and gets viable items and documents. The patrol leader now orders his men to pull off security positions and pull out of the objective area. The platoon leader orders his team to form security positions and assigns the assistant patrol leader to account everyone, including ammunition left and check equipment. After the patrol leader accounts his men, the team continues exfiltration, moving stealthily in patrol formation. Then suddenly, other hostile forces nearby have been alerted by the explosion and engaged the seal. <laughs> come by casually care to make sure that no SEAL team member is left behind. The platoon leader calls for the reset and hold the line. The team holds the line and the radio operator calls a special boat unit for the fire support. The special boats will establish fire superiority 
which afforded the team to withdraw from the killing zone and find a doorway out by doing special maneuvers called Peel Off. to barracks. Another mission is quietly accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends our demonstration this afternoon. We hope you have had a better glimpse at NAVSOCOM's capabilities and have a better appreciation of its relevance, instability, and security operations. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon. We are gathered here for the 67th founding anniversary of the Naval 
Special Operations Command, NAVSOCOM. To formally begin our program, please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, which shall be followed by an invocation to be delivered by Deputy Naval Chief Chaplain, Lieutenant Colonel Donato Jose. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, we come in your loving presence this afternoon as we gather to celebrate the Naval Special Operation Command founding anniversary, which has continued to serve the Philippine Navy and the armed forces of the Philippines in the prompt sustainment of the Naval and maritime operation for the past 67 years. As we celebrate our fast and rejoice in our present, we also look forward with eager eyes to the future. We pray that you would continue to make your love known among us. Give us a seal for mission. Help us to look beyond our walls to those who do not know you. We thank you, most gracious Father, for granting the Nabsokom with great commanders, leaders, and stakeholders who shared their unselfish service consecrated to you and our country. With humility, we ask for your grace Keep us gentle in all our triumphs and pits. Keep us always away from evil and temptations. And may we bring back to you the glory. Finally, Lord, we humbly pray to continuously bless His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines, and Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, with the strength, wisdom, and guidance in all his decisions for the sake of our country and the Filipino people. In this quiet moment, please extend your loving arms and embrace him for the continual protection and keep him in your goodness, we, all, we ask all of this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We may now be seated. To deliver his welcome remarks, we may call on the Naval Special Operations Command Commander, Commodore Dwight Stephen M. Donuan, Philippine Navy. We are ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, I was given permission by uh, our guest of honor, who would be formally and properly introduced later, to address our special guest, everyone, of course. 
Um, we'll, we'll start with Yusek uh, Ireneo, Ireneo, CSP, no, sir. Good afternoon and welcome, sir. Hmm. Lieutenant General Charlton Shan M. Garland, Philippine Navy Marines. Sir, good afternoon. Secretary Roman A. Felix. Sir, good afternoon, po, sir. A uh, fellow frogman, sir, welcome home. Vice Admiral Toribio Diadasi. Uh, Yusek Ariel Arca Kulitan, sir. Good afternoon. Coast Guard Vice Admiral Joseph M. Koime. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome. Coast Guard Commodore Oscar K.O. Sir, good afternoon and welcome. Rear Admiral, I'm sorry, Major General Freddy T. De La Cruz of the AFP SOCOM. Sir, good afternoon, po, sir. Brigadier General Juliano C. Llerenas, Wing Commander, 5th Strike Wing, 15th Strike Wing. Good afternoon, sir. Brigadier General Antonio Z. Francisco Jr., Philippine Air Force. The, co the Wing Commander of the 7th and Special Operations Wing, Commodore Alphonse Pin P. Tumanda Jr., Philippine Navy, the Commander of NIC, and a former Bullfrog, Commodore Roy Vincent T. Trinidad, Philippine Navy. Uh, my blood brother, Commodore Francisco G. Tagamolila Jr., all the way from Naval Forces, Northern Luzon. Sir, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, Commodore Juario C. Marayag, the Commander, Naval Air Wing. Good afternoon, sir. And Commodore Rolando F. Sarmiento, the Commander, Naval Construction Brigade. Uh, Captain Lorenzo H. Bolor, Philippine Navy. Captain Joel R. Tamayo, the Commander, NLC. Captain Peter G. Tolentino. The Commander, Nav Metok. And Captain Richard M. David, the Commander of uh, NIF Cavite. Uh, please uh, allow me also to welcome Colonel Einstein B. Kalawa, the Commander of Force Recon Group. And Commander Angelito W. M. Uh, M. Diaz, the Commander of the Sub uh, subgroup. Uh, yeah. Commander Philip Pin Pi Pines, the Commander of Naval Ammunitions and Explosive Depot. And uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, Commander Christopher Hugh Cargo, the Commanding Officer of the 302nd Contracting Office. Good afternoon. And uh, Congresswoman. Ducel Marie Suarez Cardema, the Vice Chairperson, House Committee on National Defense and Security. Good afternoon, ma'am, and welcome. Honorable Denver Chua, the Mayor of Cavite City. Sir, good afternoon, for sir. And Colonel Donato Piose, Father, thank you very much for that wonderful prayer. And Colonel Randolph Yanaha, our Command Chaplain, as well as uh, Major Rene. Ponsica. Uh, as we were passing through the aisle, the president recognized his former close in, Mr. Ernesto Vita Bolaso, Mr. Edwin Cacho, Mr. Wilfredo Takeda, Mr. Elmer Lazaro. Mr. Felipe O. Ordano, Mr. Remo uh, Remonte Valencia, and Mr. Adolfo Clerigo, and of course, uh, Mr. Reynaldo de la Cruz. And uh, I would like also to welcome this, this afternoon the NAVSOCO Multi Sectorial uh, Advisory Board. They are our lens from the civilian sector, and uh, they were a uh, 
They were pivotal in the, in develop, in the development of NAVSOCOM. I will start with uh, Mr. Roberto Bobby A. Alvarez Jr., the chairperson. <laughs> Dr. Adriana Mabanta, ma'am. Ms. Captain Mel Halyar, Philippine Army Reserve. Honor, Honorable Jaime Bautista. And, uh, Honorable Ronald Gian Carlos Cardema. And Attorney Martin Jan Yasai. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the NAVSOCOM family, welcome. And it is my great honor and pride that I welcome you all to the illustrious commemoration of NAVSOCOM's 67th anniversary. Today, as we gather under the theme, NAVSOCOM at 67, leading innovations, sustaining excellence, and forging a legacy. We, we celebrate not only our rich history, but also the relentless spirit of innovation, unwavering commitment to excellence, and, and the profound legacy we continue to build upon. In the wake of our colorful past and present accomplishments, we stand at the threshold of building a legacy that will resonate for generations to come. Our commitment to forging a legacy rests not only on the valorous actions of our operations, but also on the profound impact we leave on the committees we serve through our collaborative efforts in fostering multi-sectorial partnerships, promoting local and regional security, and safeguarding our maritime interests. NAVSOCOM continues to ex exemplify the epitome of maritime excellence, setting an unparalleled standard for the future of naval special operations. As we commemorate this momentous occasion, we reaffirm our dedication to upholding the values that define NAVSOCOM. We continue to embrace innovation, strive for excellence, and pave the way for a legacy that will endure the test of time. Happy 67th anniversary to the Naval Special Operations Command. And once again, I welcome each and all of you to this occasion. Huya. Thank you, Commodore Dunuan, sir. For 67 years, NAV Sokol leads the way in innovation in the field of Naval Special Operations. Today, it is still the leading special operations unit by sustaining an excellent performance in accomplishing its mandate. Above all, NAV Sokom shall continue to be the cream of the crop of naval special operations by forging a legacy of being the unrivaled and undisputed lethal force of maritime special operations for decades to come. At this point, we shall now witness the long-standing tradition of Naval Special Operations Command. We shall give recognition to the individuals and units that excelled for this year. May I request the President to lead the awarding. He shall be assisted by the Commander of the Naval Special Operations Command and the rest of the party. For outstanding performance for the current year, SEAL Team Leader of the Year is hereby awarded to Lieutenant Junior Grade Guillan N. Reyes. O-19411 Philippine Navy for being adjudged as the best team leader for calendar year 2023. Seal Operator of the Year is hereby awarded to Underwater Operations Man 3rd Class Jason B. Cabural 895671 Philippine Navy for being a judge as the best seal operator for calendar year 2023. EOD Technician of the Year is hereby awarded to Underwater Operations Man 2nd Class, Anro Anthony M. Turalio, 836912 Philippine Navy, for being a judge as the best EOD technician for calendar year 2023. Special Boat Operator of the Year is hereby awarded to Underwater Operations Man 2nd Class Ferdinand Quirego 8369-17 Philippine Navy 
for being adjudged as the best special boat operator for calendar year 2023. Diver of the Year is hereby awarded to Seaman First Class, Jeric C. Carino, 927-300 Philippine Navy for being adjudged as the best diver for calendar year 2023. Instructor of the Year is hereby awarded to Underwater Operations Man Second Class, Romeo F. Aguilar, 848302 Philippine Navy for being a judge as the best instructor for calendar year 2023. Naval Special Operations Unit of the Year is hereby awarded to NAVSUYU 3 for being a judge as the best NAVSUYU for calendar year 2023. This shall be received by Lieutenant Sammy Froilan and Costina. O-16084 Philippine Navy Commanding Officer NAVSU-3 Thank you Mr. President and congratulations to all awardees Please be seated At this juncture, may we call on Secretary Roman A. Felix, Presidential Advisor on Military and Police Affairs, to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand E. Marcos, Jr. Thank you to our uh, uh, from, uh, Secretary, uh, Secretary uh, Popong Felix. The, oh, please uh, take your seats. As you want to know. Flag Officer in Command, Vice Admiral Toribio Adas, Jr. Naval Operations Commander, Dwight Stephen Dulunuan. <laughs> Department of National Defense, Yusek Ireneo Espino. Another uh, old uh, comrade from the old days. Cavite City Mayor, Denver Chua. <laughs> the officers and listed personnel, the awardees and members of the NAVSOCOM, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am one with the valiant men and women of the Naval Special Operations Command in celebrating your 67th founding anniversary. I congratulate all the officers and members of the NAVSOCOM for closing yet another meaningful chapter in your long and decorated history. As an elite unit of the Philippine Navy, the extensive counter-terrorism training and operations that you have conducted against terrorist groups and other lawless elements, including rescue missions that have greatly supported the AFP's internal security efforts, especially in southern Philippines. NAVSOCOM has also contributed to our efforts to curb smuggling, other illegal activities at sea, so we can watch over the vast littoral area that needs to be covered. More impressive still, through it all, you have embodied grit, fortitude, and courage in ensuring peace, order, and progress in the country. For your commitment to serve and to safeguard the Filipino people, I express my deep and heartfelt gratitude. As we move now from focusing on ensuring internal security for the country, we now have to bolster the country's external defenses. And I exhort the DND and the AFP to maximize and strategically review the deployment of our forces 
to ensure that their strategies remain responsive to the current and future geopolitical realities. Let us also continue harnessing the skills of our specialized units in preparing for all contingencies. With the NAVSOCOM, with its expertise in sea, air, and land, or SEAL operations, must be utilized to support naval defense and enhance maritime security. I still remember our operators, pero hindi pa SEAL noon, UOU pa nung noon. Uh, they were the members of the under, of Underwater Operations Unit na sumasama sa amin kapag kami lumalakad. And I have met many of them, nag-uusap kami ng matagal, and I very well understand the high standards that are set by the then UOU, now SEAL, now NAVSOCOM, to, for the elite operators of NAVSOCOM to be able to fulfill their mission. I also enjoin the Navy to strengthen the unit's capabilities by partnering with forces from like-minded states to uphold our shared commitment to freedom of navigation, peace and stability, and the rule of law. To this end, allow me to recognize our awardees for their excellent performance and significant contribution to the Navy and to the country. I urge you to continue honing your skills and serve as exemplars, not just as NAVSOCOM personnel, but as public servants. Rest assured that this administration remains firm in its commitment to strengthen NAVSOCOM's capabilities to the acquisition under the revised AFP modernization program. We will likewise support, in, support you in implementing programs to enhance your knowledge and skill, as well as ensure your welfare and equally important, your family's well-being. Together, let us bring stability, peace, and prosperity in our lands and in our seas, all the while standing as a wellspring of hope to our present and our next generations. Malaki po ang papel na ginagampanan ng inyong institusyon sa pagsulong ng isang bagong Pilipinas sa ating panahon ngayon. Inaasahan ko ang inyong patuloy na pakikilahok at suporta sa adikaing ito. Muli, binabati ko ang NAVSOCOM sa pagdiriwang ng inyong ikaanim na, ikaanim na putpitong anibersaryo. Mabuhay kayong lahat, mabuhay ang NAVSOCOM, mabuhay ang Armed Forces of the Philippines. Maraming salamat at magandang hapon sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, may we request the President to please remain standing as we shall move forward with the presentation of memento to be given by the Commander of NAVSOCOM. The Hinalo, the blade of choice of the Northern Warriors of the Philippines, a symbol of relentless determination and ready to conquer any challenges in the harshest of environments to defend our national interests is presented to His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. In grateful recognition for his invaluable support as guest of honor and keynote speaker to the 67th founding anniversary celebration of NAVSOCOM, given the 6th day of November 2023 at Headquarters Naval Special Operations Command. Thank you. At this point, May we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. May we request all flag officers and generals to join the President and the official party for a photo opportunity. MSAB members, please stand by and prepare. Once again, may we request the presence of all flag officers and generals to join the President and the official party for a photo opportunity. MSAB members, please stand by and prepare. MSAB members, please stand by and prepare. Thank you very much, sirs. Thank you very much, sirs. Please exit to your right.
MSAB members, you may now proceed on stage. Likewise, all unit commanders, please stand by and prepare. Thank you very much, sirs and ma'am. Please exit to your right. May we request all unit commanders to join the president and the official party for a photo opportunity. Likewise, all NAVSOCOM officers and enlisted personnel, key officers and enlisted personnel together with the NAVSOCOM awardees, please stand by and prepare. Thank you very much, sirs. Please exit to your right. May we request all NAVSOCOM key officers, enlisted personnel, and all the NAVSOCOM awardees to please join our president and the official party for a photo opportunity. Thank you. Please exit your right. Thank you, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. That concludes our program. Thank you, Mr. President, for gracing the 67th founding anniversary of the Naval Special Operations Command. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines his Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcus, Jr. everyone to please remain on your respective places until the president has left the venue. May request once again may request everyone to please remain on your respective places until the president has left the venue. Thank you, sir.